Welcome to this first look map tour with me, Mr. Sealy P. Green River 2017. This is a map by Bart and NLD Farmers. Uh, as far as I'm aware, from reading up, uh, this was on FS15, incredibly popular. Uh, obviously not on consoles, this would have been for uh, PC on FS15 and therefore it has been converted over for 2017. This map is seasons ready. Um, it has about 160 acres I think it said in total. Um, and oh, that was the other thing. Um, there are no switch on and offable lights. These are all automatic on this map it said in the description. We start at our very humble looking farmhouse in the middle of the map just south of central we'll have a quick look as I often do so we are here just south of central the map is incredibly flat um, there are a couple of nice little features that stand out um, and there are a few things that are nice that are different about this I, I, you know, I say it every single time I really like this map I do they, they, you know it's different different uh, design different style there's you know some really nice features on this so we'll go around and we'll try to get them all in um, like I say we start here at what, what I would consider the main farm there are about three farms if I recall there's a farm just up here by 21 and then there's the pig farm uh, hang on is it the pig farm yes the pig farm up the top here just below field five which we'll get round to in a minute i'm going to do this first look map tour kind of round in a spiral go kind of round and take in some of these bits here then round up to the top biogas crossover taking that farm we'll look at all green energy Dr drutons i think it is then down the other side and we'll head towards looking at the forestry and then across the bottom at the shop and then we should come back around again to where it all started looking at prices they're about average for a farming simulator map nothing overly extravagant or high and nothing particularly horrendously low i have mentioned a couple of the places already we've got all green energy the barn biogas green river the blacker hall trutons mary's farm the balloon tree the balloon tree farm shop and right agri business some of the things on here have been uh i say disabled for console um there is a, a really big like milk factory over on the west side of the map which when I, I drove over there to have a look and thought wow that's amazing but obviously it's not usable maybe that'll be something fs19 who knows um sellable milk on consoles that might be quite cool Anyway, we are going to start off in the pickup. Actually, I'm not going to start off in the pickup. I'll come back to that in a minute. Because our farm lies right behind us, just here. That is north. That is east. That is south. And that is west, behind the farmhouse. Now, what I will do is just go across the garden. Could do with a bit of a mow, actually. Need to sort that out. Something that did stand out to me. and I, I mean, this is probably on every map. I've just never really noticed. As I walked forward... Look at the detail on that t-shirt. Wow, incredible. Anyway, we'll hop fence. So gates, these always remind me, these ones remind me of the ones from like Star Wars, the really fast opening, closing, you know, that kind of thing. I don't know why, they just seem incredibly quick with a hazard beacon on top of it. This main road runs pretty much up the center of the map and there's a, a canal just on the right hand side of it. I assume it's a canal, it could be a river that's just been kind of diverted to make it more neat, but it does look like a canal. So, into the farmyard itself. We've got a lot of barn space, a lot of shelters. Um, actually, yet yeah, before I do that, let's have a look at the vehicles we start with as well. So we start off with the New Holland, A340, two case 1455s, the case 1660, axial flow harvester with its header a metal tech db8 trailer cultivar cultivator great plain cedar lizard pickup two jet washes very nice indeed and that's it not a huge amount 
I have this on normal at the moment, so you start with twenty thousand pounds, euros, or dollars, but that obviously will adjust depending on whether you're playing on hard or easy as well. So not a lot of equipment actually when you think about it. Not too much at all. So into the farm yard itself, like I say, um lots of barn space, storage space. I do like these it looks like, it reminds me of like a fire station. But circle on the PlayStation controller. These roller doors. It's a great detail. Nice touch. I do like that. Now, I'm trying to work out where... If you've got a workshop here at this main farm, I'm not too sure. But again, what I like is all these kind of crates of spare parts and stuff you would have in your tool shop. Hmm. Is this an omen? Who knows? Um, New Holland and fence and you know, it's really good and then really great details that really stand out. We've got another barn opposite, pretty much same kind of thing. I like I say, loving the roller doors, really cool. But you won't find any light switches; they will come on automatically. If we keep heading west through the farmyard, just keep your finger on that one. Now this is interesting. I haven't bought a cow yet to put in here. I say in here. We're up at the cow end of the farm. I'm not too sure what this space is for because I thought this was kind of the 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 dairy the cow barn again this I suppose would have been for a uh, PC for milk produ production but anyway your cows in here you've got your feed trough running down the sides here your straw for bedding I assume, and this is an assumption, has got to be put in, well I don't know, I assume in here, this is where it normally would get put, maybe the door at the end here, but if you click on this here, this is where you load, unload or buy and sell your animals if you want to go direct in the barn space. The feed trough is there as I've just said, and then outside here you've got your water trough, but as for straw, I'm assuming there's your that was weird there's your water trough as for bedding I'm not 100% I assume it would be in this area here it's where it normally is slurry pit and ooh, I'm not sure where the manure is whether or not the manure is you have to scoop up yourself I'm not too sure possibly so that's the cows and whilst not yeah I mean that's not a comprehensive guide to where the stuff is but I'm not 100% certain myself chickens are kind of just in the farmyard they roam up and down this whole section along here there is another gate just oh that could be the manure pit there couldn't it could be but I'm hazarding a guess there now it did say in the description on PlayStation on the Farming Simulator website that it had a uh, feed to feed mixers. Now I'm assuming that looks like a pig food silo, but I tried to put a trailer under this a little while ago and nothing happened, no nothing came up. So I'm assuming on the PC version there's a kind of feed mixer option, but I couldn't get it to work. Um seed fertilizer points are all just here, and if you go onto that it says there you go, seed and fertilizer. Very nice indeed. And round the side here, if we go onto that, your wall pallets will spawn here. Interesting wall pallet spawn area. I haven't seen one with like a, a grate on it before. But that's your sheep, just over here. Water trough inside. Feed trough over to the outside. Another feed area for the cows for this side and then your buy and sell load and unload point for your sheep is just here so the farm itself the, I say the farm the main farm is quite a, a contained 
compact little unit. I like having the animals all close together. Um, I suppose most farmers would be one type of livestock, but if you're going to do multiple, you're going to want them all close, so you haven't got to be driving all over the place. Two rather large slurry pit, uh, slurry pits, silage pits, chaff pits, which turn them into silage, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then we've got a jet wash area um, and fountain. There are loads dotted around the map, I have to say. Considering you've got a water course running down the middle of the map and you have got little ponds all over the place, there are loads of either hoses or like little wells all over the map um, for, for water. Um, but that is the first of your jet washes at your main farm just here. I do like the fact when you get these jet wash and these kind of vehicle cleaning areas, you have the drainage down the middle. Nice details that really, really stand out on these maps. Absolutely brilliant. Right, that's the main farmyard. There's not really much more to it, really. Cows are there, sheep are there, seed and fertilizer, fuel. But again, I like the fact the grass has got a, a bit of everything. You know, there's some tall, there's some short, there's different colors in it. It's, it's, not, it's not too bland. Um, the bales stacked up on the side here with like a cover over them as well it's, it's those, those little things that really make a difference right to the pickup now as I said crossing over just here by the river which I suppose is where it's or the canal which is taking water out we've got another fountain so they're in various different forms all over the place and you can get water anywhere I haven't tried to take water direct out of here yet I suppose it's possible but the fact they've provided loads of these I don't know if it will allow you to but that's something you might have to try yourself let's cross the road and jump into the pickup So I'm going to head south, well, very briefly, then we're going to head west, and then we'll do our kind of spiral around the map. Oh, big bump. This is a fair-sized map with very some very, very large-sized fields. I'll be honest with you, if you like big equipment, big field sizes, you know, this is going to be a map you're going to enjoy, absolutely. Uh, 9.3 hectare field, 760,000 to buy. Uh, obviously, I've blocked up where the mission vehicles will go, but that's that's quite a size. If we go back to the main map and have a quick look, that's that one here, field 34 down the bottom. If you look around, they're all you know. There's not what I would call a small field. The smallest, I suppose, being field four up the top here. Uh, but even that I suppose in comparison to the others is quite a fair sized field you start off with two field 18 and 27 and on the scale of looking at field 34 they're nice size fields to be starting off a map with to get yourself going that's not a bad start back into the pickup again these little features look at this look like a footpath no cars or motorcycles please but having the bollard in the middle to stop people driving down there and that kind of thing it's a it's a great feature it's a nice touch some very very straight roads on here oh that's what I was talking about here we go this is one of the wells it's, it's got marked with this not luminous pole but neon no not even neon but it stands out Gone to there, another fountain. So it's like a manhole cover, well type thing. There's loads of those dotted around. Fuel station just on the right hand side here. And I think if I got this one, I'm trying to remember now, have I gone to the wrong one? We'll see in a minute. So fuel station just there. The first of the cell points we're going to look at, I think it's up here. Yep just off to the left here is 
Blacker Hall, I think it is. So we're just here. We've come across from the farm. West, past the petrol station, north, up to Blacker Hall. That's the first of the cell points we're going to look at. Next to our field 27 that we start off with. So like I say, it's not too shabby for a starting off field. Quite, actually, yeah, it's quite large. Wow. It's going to keep you busy right from the outset. I'm very conscious of time now, so I need to whiz around this very quickly. There may be bits of travelling that I will skip, but I will tell you where we are when we get there. So as I said, like a billiard table this map, but some interesting features. This mound, I guess, is the only way you can really describe it. Comes across here and you've got this little... Well, it's, I suppose it's like a little pond. It's not a river that runs across here. But it's quite a large bridge just to kind of go over this. But anyway, interesting little feature in the middle of the map. Gives you a bit of elevation change. And at this junction here, we're going to turn left and go south. Which is going to take us to the next couple of cell points. It gives you some idea of the size of the fields when you start driving down these roads. Because you, you drive for quite a while. So, turning right here, we come to our wool cell area, kind of spinnery, I guess. Selling point for wool. This is at the balloon tree farm. Um, I want to get this right. Yes, the balloon tree and the balloon tree farm shop. I'm pretty sure it's the balloon tree farm shop that we're at now is this kind of spinnery that's where you sell your wool and around the other side is the balloon tree and that's one of the main sell points uh, we've got an egg sell point here and a cash point here as well but if we whiz round the back of the building probably would have been quicker by vehicle we've got the other sell point the balloon tree so this is one of the main cell points on the map I do like the detailing like I said if you watch any of my guide to's uh, any of my let's plays any of my first look map tours before I do like things that are different things that stand out um, and there's a there's a great attention to detail on this a great attention to you know there's a familiarity obviously because you've got fields and it's all the, the farming simulator stuff you know and love but there's a, a lot of differences a lot of nice little details that stand out so as I mentioned earlier uh, the milk factory if you want to call it that which I assume would be kind of enabled on PC great looking building I like all the kind of gantries and pipe work and that kind of stuff very very nice indeed unfortunately on console it's just here because it, you know, it was on the gate on the map originally and it, it looks fantastic it'd be so great to be able to use these fingers crossed right north again and this is going to take a little while so we may jump this bit so we are heading up now to the northwest corner of the map again this kind of I'm going to pull out a little bit just so we can get an idea of the fields. Trees are in the way, which doesn't help, but they're rather large. Anyway, on our left here, and again, look at that, brilliant. We have our livestock market, very, very big area here for your livestock. And your hazard area is just over in this corner. Go on to there, and all of your livestock needs will be provided for. Your pigs, your sheep, and your cows, should you wish to collect them yourself, or you want to bring them here to sell, you are more than welcome to.
another little pond area on the left hand side one thing I haven't come across yet and I uh, I don't know if there are any on here I haven't found a gold nugget often when you're kind of driving around or looking at things you come across them kind of by accident I haven't found one we are now up towards the top end of the map and the fields are still very very big up the top end of the map here and we are heading now west to east but I'm going to cut down on this side road here and head south again we have on our left hand side the garden center now I don't know if these seed pallets or anything are usable uh, whether you can get seed and fertilizer here I don't know but we have got a slurry and a manure cell point just here at the garden center So heading west, no, east again, from west to east, past another one of the little fountains. If we turn left just here, we have a housing estate opposite. Again, fantastic details on this little housing estate. I don't run over by anything. Speed bumps as you come in and out and around the housing estate. Brick paved pathways. It's, it's really, it's fantastic. So we are now at the biogas plant, more kind of barn space, there's workshops and all sorts of things here, I'm just, again I don't know, I'm assuming these are seed and fertiliser points, I haven't tried these out yet, but you've got the two silos, there's a couple of these dotted around the map, that says corn, so I'm assuming that's seed, I'm assuming that's fertiliser, again could be wrong, they might not be enabled on console, but there are a few of these knocking about. Uh, slurry, I assume it's a slurry cell point but all of these open so if you want to store vehicles here for running your biogas plant you are more than free to do so anaerobic digester so that's your cell point for your silage you can often put bales into these as well to sell them and produce digestate actually that's a good point that could be the digestate tank couldn't it I'm just thinking, rather than having a big tank, I'm assuming that's what that is then, because I can't see the digestate tank here. So I'm assuming that's what that is. Well, have we got four fairly large sized bunker silos? So if you like doing your silage harvests and you like producing an absolute ton of the stuff to sell, you're not going to have a problem here and there's plenty of room to move around here as well for moving vehicles around right out from the biogas plant I'll go out the way I came in save me opening and closing lots of different gates so we are kind of almost central just up to the north end of the map the housing estate is just below us uh, I'm going to take a left now and this is going to take us back towards the main road I say the main road, the main artery that our farm, the original farm that we started on sits on so that's just here and in front of me is the canal there are quite a few crossing points on the canal there's wooden bridges dotted along the length of it but the one I'm heading for is the one that I'm, I'm going to say I believe was in the thumbnail I haven't quite decided at the moment what thumbnail to use but I think it was so if we take a left here I've gone the wrong side but never mind I love this bridge it's brilliant so just here We've got what 
I suppose I would consider the the secondary farm on the map. But what's interesting about it is you've got all of the kind of signs because I first of all thought it was the uh, the store, but it's not. Lots of parking bays as well, um, but it is another farm. For all intents and purposes, you've got seed and fertilizer points, lots of barn space. This is where your silo sits, and it is just here with a grate that opens like so. What I will do is check in store, and what in store, but in the main menu, if we scroll across, you have got, wait for it, people, a million litre capacity. I'm sure I'm not reading that wrong. That is six zeros. Not too shabby, a million litres. I don't think you're going to run out of space. Um, so this is your main silo on the map. Um, and it's a million litre capacity. Quite impressive. Again, another one of those silos. I'm assuming that's for feed and stuff, but um, yeah, couldn't get it to work. Um, in these barns, have we got a workshop knocking about? There we are, we have. That's interesting because the farm you start off, uh, the farm you start off in or at, this building is almost exactly the same down the side and there's your New Holland in here, but there wasn't one of these symbols. I didn't notice it anyway. But anyway, uh, but you can also get the toolbox mod um, so you can put your toolbox in wherever you want to. Fuel point, more barn space. I mean, there, there is no shortage of barn space open shelters it's great whoa that's something a bit different I haven't seen that before like a concertina door that's cool nice touch wow now as I said before when I do a first look map tour, um, it's not always a first look for me because I'll often have a whiz round just to double check and make sure I'm familiar with the map enough that I can drive around and show you everything without forgetting. Oh, there's your harvester, look, tucked away in there. Um, but you still come across stuff that you didn't know was there or surprises you and there you go, that's one of those things. So, our second jet wash is here at this farm in another vehicle cleaning area right back to the pickup and we shall carry on a little bit more rapidly than i have been doing up until now time is running away so out of here and we're going to head north i think we are to the pig farm pig farm is just here on the left hand side I will just pull in here open the gate so here's your pig farm these gates open to allow you access in because you've got your feed trough just inside here over here your water trough I'm assuming your bedding is going to go in here, the straw bedding, and I am. Um, I don't know if that's a feed trough as well. It might well be. I assume so, but somewhere along here, I would hope is the point for tipping the bedding, unless that is around here as well. I'm not 100% certain. Again, this is going to be the point where you buy and sell pigs directly or load and unload them actually at the pig farm. Again, nice details you don't come across these kind of railing type fences very often so it's not your kind of standard plonk there's a pig farm it's uh really nicely done great details there's a, quite a lot of sporadic forestry dotted around if you want to do a little bit here and there there are trees dotted around the map there is an actual dedicated forest which we will get to but if i just swing around off of here we are at all green again when I get this right all green energy that was it I wanted to get it right all green energy 
this is your cell point for wood chips just here so they'll be burnt process whatever they do to produce energy very nice indeed now this next bit is going to take us round to the last couple of cell points I think it is we're going to come across on this tour this is one of those maps that if you've got vehicles that don't quite have the horsepower for certain machinery you'll get away with it because it's flat there are no hills to contend with nothing that's going to cause any particular strain on your on your tractors um, which can often be quite handy but here on the right hand side we have got the barn getting rid of straw and hay and we have got cell point here which is Druton's I believe yes it is Druton's so you've got the Druton's cell point and the barn for selling your straw and hay now what we are going to do is come out of here head to the eastern side of the map and we're going to whiz all the way down this side to the bottom here to the forest and then we're going to do I think that's the sawmill but it's not marked and then the store and we shall be pretty much done but it's quite a drive so I will skip part of that and I will zoom out just to give you some idea of the size of this field <laughs> it is huge another canal running down the left hand side of the map here well it's left hand side it's the right hand side of the map but my view obviously it is left and off we go so as we get to the bottom end of the map and swing around here we've got a turning point just here which takes us into the forest if you like your forestry like I said there are trees all around the map there are plenty to cut down but this is more your dedicated forestry area what I like about this is it's kind of laid out in different ways it's almost like a spiral pattern you've got some quite open areas where the trees are quite spaced out um, you've got them laid out in different ways I suppose how a, a kind of managed forest may well be when they're planted then you've got this section here really densely packed together different types of trees mixed in there as well it's brilliant I, I really do like it it's very cleverly done but there's no shortage of, of forestry here you're not going to run out and very luckily you've got your log cell point just next door um, the sawmill is not actually marked as a sawmill but I'm pretty sure it is we've done the wood chip uh, cell point at all green energy but I'm hoping hoping I'm not wrong back out to the main road or oh, did say stop there sorry so just on the left here You have got your sawmill. Like I say, it's not marked on the map, but aha, there we go. So there, selling point for wood is just tucked away here, and then luckily it's right next to the forest, which means you haven't got to transport it too far. Your wood chips have got to go a little bit further, but they're often easier to transport in tippers and things like that, whereas your logs can get a little bit shifty right the very last point we're going to look at before we finish this first look map tour is the store again nice little irrigation ditch canal type thing here that we cross over and again it's it's the same but different there's a familiarity to it but it's different it's like the building on Sosnovka and uh, where else is it Estancia Lapacho, which was kind of changed as well. Bits of machinery dotted around, obviously, kind of for sale type thing. Over to the left here, we have got a buying and selling 
point, not buying and selling, selling point. Vehicle shop and store just in there. Vehicles will spawn inside there or out here on the forecourt. We'll go up there, Veltra, Fent, Matthew Ferguson, Challenger. Bit of everything going on. Then over here we've got another... Well, it's unusual having two of them. There you go. Sell and customise your vehicle, but this one is more of a kind of workshop if you like doing more of a narrative and a more kind of realistic feel to it. If you want to bring your vehicles in. Oh, wow. I'm not sure what that is. Looks Volvo-ish, but it might not be. Could be anything, couldn't it? Fiat Agri, something, I don't know. Someone will know what that is. It could just be a bog stand, a kind of lizard tractor that's been around for a while. Um, but if you um, respawn a vehicle, for example, if I whiz down to here, to my New Holland, which I know is at my farm, if I click reset, and it says reset to the shop, this is actually reset to the shop. So any vehicle you decide you want to reset at any point, it will come here, back to the store. I know on some maps it says it has been reset to the shop and it resets to your farm or somewhere else. Here it does come back to the store. Oh, wind turbine in the background there, didn't notice that. But that is pretty much it. Um, like I say, this is a, it's a great map, fantastic details. I like the canals, I like the textures, I like the you know the grass detailing. Like I say, you've got that main bridge, but you've got a few of these wooden ones dotted around across this central canal that runs up and down the middle of the map. The fields are big, they are big, big fields, but you do start with two very, very large ones, which is going to help massively. Plenty of water points dotted around. Um, I don't know if the water's free in the canals themselves, you would have to try it yourself. Which brings us back to the farmhouse. I've got to cut the grass. I hope you found this interesting, useful, informative in some way, shape or form. If you like a big map with big open spaces, if you like um, using big machinery that kind of thing, this is going to be a map you're going to enjoy. Um, some of that big machinery might struggle getting across the, uh, the bridges because the bridges aren't particularly wide. Um, but give it a go. If you have enjoyed it, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.